To understand the strange and terrible events that are about to unfold, one must understand the world in which they take place. Isrehasa, as this world is known, exists in a remote place, far removed from other worlds by time and distance. It is a land imbued with magic, where sorcery and demons are as much a part of life as night and day, where the darkest imaginings of the mind can become real in an instant. On this world can be found the island kingdom of Faren. It was once a peaceful and happy realm ruled by a wise king, but darkness came upon the land in the form of the demon lord Okdam. King Aswell's armies proved no match for Okdam's demonic legions, and he was at last overthrown. It is on that evil day that our tale begins. King Aswell! Flee, your majesty! Look after my son. Defend him with your life. I will, sire! I will! son of King Aswell and rightful heir to his throne, but you may call me Sirius. <gasps> Prince Sirius! Well, now that you've blurted it out, we'd best move on before they come looking for you, my lord. Are you certain of this? Sirius is here. I saw him with my own eyes. And so you fled here rather than fight him, eh? I thought I should warn you, Master. You thought? And who gave you permission to do that? But, Your Majesty, I was only trying to... Uh... Whoa! Zoggy! Yes, my lord. If you hadn't let him escape ten years ago, we wouldn't have this problem now. True. Here's your chance to redeem yourself. Go and find him. Bring me his head on a platter. And be quick. For until then, my own head cannot rest easy. I like this village. Your Highness, are you ready? Coming. Hurry up. Coming, Rias. Sometime this spring. Oh. <gasps> now watch me carefully. Yeah. Sirius, <laughs> will you pay attention, boy? 
Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Now then, as I was about to explain, the broadsword... When you strike... Oh, hmm? Yes, what is it? I thought you'd want to know there's venison stew for supper. Venison, I love venison. Oh, really? Yes, and I'm hungry as a bear. I hope you made a lot of it. <laughs> oh, well, I'm astonished. Hey. Remember, you're a prince. Try to behave accordingly. All oh, right. Have you no manners? There's a proper way to respond to such hospitality. Like this. You're too kind, dear lady. <sighs> Now I've got to teach you etiquette, I suppose. How in thunder are you supposed mm. to govern a kingdom when you act like a stable boy? Well, all I'm right! Sure. Yeah! Can we get back to the broadsword, please? Oh, I almost forgot. That's right, where Ooh. were we? Ah. Now, my lord, remember, the strength of a swordsman's character is more important than the quality of his weapon. Why, even this old broomstick in the right hands can defeat the mightiest opponent. The real keys to victory are purity of heart and presence of mind. All the rest is so much humbug. Each man's style may differ, but the fundamentals are the same for all. Banish all worldly thoughts and passions. Gather your strength into a single point of light. Draw it down into your belly and hold it there. Then let it fly upward to the top of your head. Impressive demonstration, really! And don't worry about the damage. It's just the proper way to respond to hospitality, right? <laughs> Duh! Great adult adders, what have I done? There, it's not so bad, and it brings to mind another skill I was going to teach you, my lord. Carpentry! Let's begin with this table, shall we? No! No! Not again! It's inhuman, that's what it is. Who was it who did this? It was Zanji. Zanji? One of Akdam's minions. The beast who rules this part of the kingdom, oppressing the people and forcing the young men to work in the mines against their will. Each day we bury another. Akdam must be stopped! <laughs> oh, Wait! Any longer. Are you insane? Settle down. An intruder's loose in the mines. Get him! He's mine! These lackeys are a waste of steel. It's their master I want. Sanji! I am he! Now stand and fight, villain! The Sword of Sirius will give you a taste of your own medicine. Ready to die? Your time has come. Uh, so you're the one the king is searching for while your sword is longer than you are! Sorry! But it's you who'll have to die. Now get ready, young pup! On your guard, boy! Ah, this is bad. I have to help the villagers. The mine is caving in. Run! Ah. What happened to all the guards? One guess. Rios! They all had the same unfortunate accident. They stumbled onto my sword. And the villagers? Don't worry, they're safe. I got them out. Good. Be careful! Strange.
Archer. Zagi, punish them. Of course. So you're the monster killer. Not much to look at. Call me Galen. That's my name. <laughs> huh? Not again! Wait! Swordsman, I let down my guard. No! Rios, no! isn't the son of King Aswell, of blessed memory. Traitor, tyrant, and murderer! You repaid my father's trust and friendship with betrayal! Well, don't get too comfortable on that throne! Your reign of terror is nearing its end, you dog! Dog, am I? Pardon me, boy, but you're the one on all fours, snarling and spitting like an animal. Very undignified. Should I cut off your head right now? No, I think I'll wait and kill you along with your mother. What? A public execution, a splendid show for the peasants you're so fond of. She's alive? The Queen is still alive, you say? Yes. That old fool Rias neglected to mention it, did he? How annoying. If he had told you, you might have come much sooner. We could have finished this years ago. Aha! What's this? The Stone of Gilmore! Uh. <laughs> Symbol of the heir apparent. You won't be needing this fine bauble anymore, my young friend. Zoggy! Here, my lord. Show the prince some of the changes we've made to his father's palace. With pleasure. Hear this! I swear to you, traitor, I will avenge the king and my mother. I'll make you pay! Do you hear me? Do you hear me, villain? Silence! Yeah! <laughs> what a bold fellow. I know I should be frightened. For some reason, I'm not. <laughs> Take him away! Your Highness, Prince Sirius. Those animals have nearly killed him. My lord! Your Highness, wake up! Hurry! Uh, who are you? Now is not the time for me to explain. Are you able to walk, Your Highness? <laughs> I get it. You've come all this way here to rescue me? Thanks a lot. No! No, my lord, wake up, wake up! Damnation! I'll have to do this the hard way.
Put him here. Your Highness! Your Highness! What has happened to Sonya? Someone bring her here at once! You say he regained consciousness before? Yes. Rius, is that you? No, I'm afraid not, Prince Sirius. I am his brother, Aaron. Rios lies buried somewhere beneath the ruins of that village. Uh, uh yes. How could I have forgotten? Uh. My lord! Quiet! Hey, someone call me! Where have you been, girl? The prince needs you! Well, I'm here! He's so weak. You must do something with your healing powers, Sonya. Now this is terrible. Huh? What do you mean? You don't mean to say that the prince is... Oh, it's tragic. I was right in the middle of a game of dice and I was winning. For the first time in my entire life, the numbers were all falling my way. Oh, God, I could have made a killing and you called me away for this maker! Oh, no, that's the prince. You didn't need me for him. A few days in bed and he'll be perfectly fine. You there, bring me some water! Hmm, now that I see him, he's not a bad-looking prince, is he? <laughs> I'd better stay and make sure he recovers! <clears throat> huh? All right, everyone out! Aaron, come quickly! I think they want you! You've my permission to go now! Be careful. Don't worry, I will. I hope she remembers that young man is in a very weakened condition. Well, I guess there are worse ways for a man to die. Ha, very funny. Huh? Oh. <laughs> oh, my very own prince. Hmm? No, I'm not! Akdam's forces overran our position. We had to withdraw. Ah, so you're out of bed at last. Feeling better, are we? Uh, uh-huh. Yeah, better, thanks. Well, that's splendid. The prince is up, Baron! Pardon me. Hmm? hmm? May I pass? Oh, sure, sorry. Thank you. Uh, lousy warlock! Who's that fellow? That fellow's someone I don't trust as far as I can throw him. Is he really a warlock? Uh, hey, Aaron! Here! I am glad to see you well again, your highness. Though a poor substitute for my brother, I hope you will call me friend. Thank you. Come. You're going to be impressed, I think. This chamber is the heart and soul of the Rebellion. Here we're planning the campaign that will ultimately overthrow the tyrant Okta, bring freedom to Farin, and restore the crown to its rightful heir. That's you, Sirius, son of Aswell! Yeah! Hold on! You can save your cheering. In that castle there, in one of Okdam's dungeons, the Queen my mother still lives. Were you aware of that? We are, my lord. Then why haven't you tried to rescue her? Why don't you attack? I don't understand. How can you leave her there? My dear Prince, I sympathize with your impatience, and I too am tired of waiting. I want desperately to strike back against he that killed my brother. But it's an unwise man who lets his rage dictate strategy. Come, I will show you. I will back any of our men against any three of those demons, but Akdam has an army of 40,000 to ours of only 5,000. And then there's his monstrous henchman, Zagi, whose power is almost limitless. No, we cannot attack yet. To risk meeting his army now would be suicidal madness. In the meantime, what of the Queen? May merciful gods give her strength. For the moment, there is nothing we can do but wait and stay our hand until the time is ripe. Pardon me, Prince. But more than your own kingdom hangs in the balance here, you know. Okdam has his greedy eye on many other kingdoms as well. Reunion speaks with such passion because he is from one of those other kingdoms. Say, stay out of this, warlock! Forgive me. Nah. Fear not, my young lord. Though we cannot attack him directly, we are not standing idly by. We are drawing his blood little by little, weakening him with small skirmishes like the attack on that demon Zanji in the mine. That was Reunion's idea, and a very good one. Bro! Forgive me. Your Highness, Lend us your sword and your strength. Stand side by side with us in our cause. Once word goes forth that Prince Sirius himself is with us, men will flock to our banner by the hundreds, thousands. The entire kingdom, man, woman, and child will rise up to follow you. And then at last that blessed day will come when we strike down that monster who murdered your father and imprisoned the queen. Yeah!
Are you with us? Dogs, where is your master? <laughs> Young pup! So he fights side by side with rebels, does he? No, no problem. Always back. Always back. Take it easy. Huh? If the rebel Sirius does not surrender himself to the king, Queen Felicia will be executed at sundown tomorrow at the Bay of Aswell's tomb. Uh, let me through, please. What? Has the prince heard of this? I've sent Sonia to find him. Aaron, you know what he'll do! We can't let him fall for this trick! It'll be the ruin of everything! On the other hand, it might provide us the perfect opportunity for taking the castle. Sirius, have you heard? I have! That hound of hell! I'll teach him to threaten the Queen! Hiya! No, wait! We must first visit the abandoned temple of the Old Ones! Why's that? Trust me, there's a great and powerful weapon in those ancient ruins that will help us in our fight! All right. Then we'll go. You men, now listen! Ride back to our stronghold and wait there! Tell Aaron that Sonia and I have gone to the temple ruins! Let him have everything ready for the attack upon my return! Sonia, lead the way! Yeah! Good luck, your highness! Our cavalry now numbers 2,000 horse. Combined with bowmen and foot soldiers, the army's strength stands at 5,000. All are ready to attack the castle at your command! All that and still no match for Akdam's legions. No. But then we can never hope to defeat him in pitched battle. Brave as they may be, our men cannot overcome such odds, especially when the enemy's numbers include that demon Zaki. We can only hope that the prince arrives in time to divert their attention by rescuing the queen. But there's no guarantee he'll succeed. There is! Or if not a guarantee, at least a very real chance of success. That is why I sent my granddaughter Sonia to him. Are you sure? The Temple of the Old Ones? Yes. Uh, send the Imperial Guard. That's an order. I fear they will be too late, my lord. Ah, of course, you have the wing of Wapu. <laughs> Come on, Sonya, we better go now. There'll be another sunrise tomorrow morning. Time is short. Are you coming? You know what I'd like more than anything? Ah! I'd like to see the sun rise tomorrow morning! I can't hear you! What did you say? I want to see the sun come up again tomorrow morning! Is that bad? Ah! Yeah! What was that for? A shouty in my ear! I want to see the sun come up tomorrow morning! What thunder is that supposed to mean? Shut up! You first. Be careful, Sirius. Go slowly. There are many things in here we don't understand. <laughs> ah! What are you doing? Using me as a shield? That's disgusting! Let go of me, you coward! Come on! You scared? What's wrong? Whoa! I see someone. seen these brutes before. I know I'm attractive, oh. but hey! Keep your hands off my buttocks! Sorry. Wow! Galen, many thanks! Oh, it was a pleasure. Pig! Do you know who those four are? 
Yes, those are Octom's Imperial Guard. More demons? And as soon as they're done materializing, things are gonna get ugly. Let's not wait! Uh. I'm ready now! Come on! Worse, but I swear by this sword, you shall not pass ever. <laughs> well, I'll be polexed. You're so young to be a sorceress. I'm not. No, but I thought you said. I'm in training. Oh! <laughs> do you know what you're doing, girl? Well, do you? Huh? Now you die, hellspawn creatures! Sorry, I'm not impressed. <laughs> The Imperial Guards are immune to your cheap and pathetic sword tricks, young princeling. Are they? Now we shall see! No! Which one of you is next? Let's not be hasty. Now wait! Do you know what's behind that door? Quiet. No! Wait! Return to what I once was. Please do not tell the prince what I have become. I cannot bear the thought of him knowing. Tell him only that I failed, that I did my best, and that I did it for him. Sonia! Now go! Listen to me, Sonia! Don't do it! Arise, great dragon. Your ageless sleep is at an end. It is time for us to become one. You shall be my strength, and I your soul. Awake! been too long. Something must have happened to them. Uh, what next? Without the prince's diversionary effort to rescue Queen Felicia, our army doesn't have a chance of taking the castle. Aaron, send your forces against the castle as planned. Sirius will come. Of that I'm certain. And how can you be so sure? Would you stake your life on it? Or the lives of our warriors? Yes. Well, I cannot afford to. Tell our commanders to withdraw from the castle and assemble at the Bay of Aswell's tomb. Once there, we shall attempt to rescue the Queen ourselves if possible. Is that clear? No. No. Ro? Reunion! A fool! What is he trying to do? Wait! Don't send those orders yet! Oh, 
The hour has come. But Sirius hasn't shown himself, my lord. You may start. Yes, sir. <laughs> Kill her! <laughs> Who dares? <laughs> Reunion! And someone else. One you haven't seen for a long time, Sir Octum. Bro! Octum! Though we share the same teacher, you and I have traveled very different roads. Now, our roads converge at last, villain! Come to repay you for the murders of Aswell and Rios. I am Justice. Come to punish you for the imprisonment of the Queen. I am Freedom. Come to end your bloody reign. I am all these things, you tyrant. I am Death. Galen, join the others and see that no harm comes to the Queen. Right. Now fly. Serious, your sword! Thanks, friend! Now, you must draw the beast away from my mother. Hurry, dragon! Or should I call you by your true name, Sonia? <gasps> Yet already brave as his father! He fights for us all while we stand and watch! Hey, old man! What are you doing? Now. What do you think I'm doing? Serious! Octum is the real enemy! Forget all else but him! This battle can never be truly won while he is free! Don't worry. Bro! Are you gonna stand there all night? There's a fight going on! Forgive me. Come on, let's go! Now what's the matter? Come on, let's go! What's all this? We've come to protect the queen! Right! You're going to save the queen, are you? Right! Huh? Well, holy thunder! You fellows all have courage, I'll give you that! All right then, close ranks and show these devils what you're made of! Yeah! <laughs> Merciful gods, don't let her die! Serious. No, no. Fly away, please don't die. No, Sirius. I wouldn't leave you even if I could. So. For that, you monster, I damn you to hell. Yeah! No, no, serious strike! Yeah, yeah. Ah! It did it! Look, sir, look! What does it mean? That fire beyond the ridge! 
The castle! They've taken the castle! Ah! Aaron did it! We've won! Not yet. What? We have only scorched the evil one, not killed him. Now, Prince, make yourself ready. The final battle approaches. I'm ready. Yes. Are all of you ready? Huh? Everyone, lend Sirius your strength. He will need all our prayers to succeed. And so all who stood there bowed their heads as one. And the wizard's words traveled many leagues beyond that place. They echoed through the valleys of the north, and in the deep, far-off forests of the south they were heard. In the ruins of the castle, Aaron and his men also heard them. From every corner of the kingdom, the people of Far Ren answered the wizard's appeal and sent their prayers flying toward their prince. At last! That light! What is that light? Like a thousand rivers meeting to form one mighty torrent, the prayers of his people converged on the prince's sword, imbuing it with a power beyond mortal reckoning. Soggy, why do you delay? Remake yourself and rise, slave! Rise! <sighs> It's over. Don't be a fool. You didn't see Octum die, did you? He's still alive! No, oh, he's right. He's right. Yes, but for now he's gone. Be thankful for that. Mother! Mother! Oh, my son! Oh. <laughs> Are you all right, Mother? Yes, now. Your Highness. Can you help me bring Sonia back? All right, then. Huh? I've come to bring you home. This girl gave herself willingly to me, and I as willingly now set her free that she may return to her own kind. This is a brave and noble spirit. See that you take good care of it, Prince. There! Yes. The sun's coming up, and I'm here to see it. Mm. Yes, Sonia, but why stop at that? Everyone, we must see to it that the sun rises every morning over a land that is free. <laughs> You'll help me make the sun come up, won't you? Hmm. Tomorrow and the morning after. Tomorrow and the morning after. And the morning after that. And the morning after. <laughs> <laughs> Forever! Um, tell me, Sonia, what happened to your arm? Hmm, let's just say somebody got overly familiar. Oh. Where is my son? This is from Sirius? Dearest mother, by the time you read this, I will be gone. Pray, Pray forgive, forgive me, but, but I cannot, I cannot join, join in any celebration, celebration while the man who murdered my father and my mentor still lives. 
I will return one day with Ogdum's head. Until then, Mother, be well. I'm sorry, ma'am. I guess he snuck off while I wasn't looking. Hmm. Well, it's good riddance if you ask me. Oh, well. He has his father's wandering blood in him. We shall eagerly await his return, but in the meantime, I command that the celebration continue.